everyone it's ella and welcome back to the channel today in this episode i will be sharing with you all smart tips and tricks that me and my family use when shopping in our personal opinions we think it works really well and hopefully it works out for you too now without further ado let's get on with the video okay so the first smart way in shopping is actually making a list so making a list is at the same time very useful and very important when you are shopping it helps you stay more organized and it also helps you discuss, decide how much you spend all in all and remember to maintain a healthy budget because both of my mom and dad say that we must have a healthy budget and that we should spend less than what we earn plus you have to stay wise when you make a list Think about what you and your family need the most, basically whether the item is essential or non-essential. You also should consider the life shelves of the product or how long it will be expired or even what you are buying is even good quality. After making the list, then let's proceed to the second way. Moving on onto our second smart way of shopping is actually signing up or applying up for a loyalty card. So I'm sure most of us don't mind this or don't even ignore this. So many stores actually offer loyalty cards and the best part is that some of them are very much free to join in. So if you can, I highly recommend you get one. And a lot, lot, lot of loyalty cards can come with many perks, such as discounts, special promos, and maybe even some free stuff. Who doesn't like free? So most loyalty cards will ask you to collect points every time you shop or buy for something. And these points can be converted to cash vouchers or maybe some free gift cards. I really love it. I mean, once again, who doesn't love free? So next time you try to spend some of those little to those loyalty cards, you might be surprised on how handy they can be and some free stuff that you have earned. So do any of you own loyalty cards? If so, feel free to tell us by commenting down below. Moving on onto our third smart way of shopping. The third one, it is shopping wisely. So there are either two ways of doing this. You can either online shop or physically go up to the shops. Some people prefer shopping online or some people want to see the item or a touch item that they want to buy just like my mom. So this is what I recommend you to do. With essentials that are heavy like rice, water, etc, it's better to do them through online. But for other items that are more lighter like fresh fruits, um, veggies, etc, you can just simply go outside to the market and enjoy the fresh air. So how about you guys? How do you guys do your shopping? Once again, feel free to comment down. And before I forget about the non-essentials, it's better if you do it online, especially if you don't need them as urgently. And if you want to shop for clothes, maybe you can consider watching my What Wearing My Mom's Old Clothes, which it will be right here. Then if you want to go shopping, possibly choose the quiet time to avoid the crowds and most importantly, stick to the list. Of course, there are some exceptions in some cases, like you forgot to include the thing that you need the most. Also, don't overdo it, otherwise it will ruin your budget and you will still want to save money. So the fourth one is bringing a little snack or water or drink with you. So I know this may be basic, but I think it's very useful bringing a small snack or a drink with you. So it helps you save money and your time other than buying food from outside. It can also be more expensive buying food. This is why I prefer homemade or food from the market. It's clearly cheaper, which saves money. Number five is using a reusable bag. So this is very important. Nowadays, a lot of shops, even essential or non-essential, are charging a ridiculous amount for a carrier bag. If you can, buy a reusable bag that you can use every time you go for shopping. There are even some bags that can be used for washing. Having your own reusable bag can help you save money without you even realizing. And if you'd like tips on saving money, I definitely recommend you watching my free tips on saving money video. Also, imagine how many times you actually do shopping all in all. Some bags can cost up to 50 pence, and every time we visit, we have to pay. And it's just not worth it, so therefore we should use a reusable bag. 
So the sixth way of shopping smartly is keeping all of your receipts safe. So this one I really want you guys to be focused on and aware of. So especially when you shop for non-essentials, which can be clothes, gadgets, or shoes, you should practice to keep the receipts safe in or maybe in one side. So you may be wondering why, why do we have to do this and what is the point? So first, we all know that there are times where the first time you see something, you think you'll like it, but maybe when you get back home, you may no longer like it, or it may not even fit you. So if this ever is the case, you can always return the clothing or whatever you want to return. As long as it is still in good condition, then that is okay. And this is where the receipts come in. If you want to return something, you always need to make sure that you have the receipt with you. So there is proof that you are the person who has bought it. Some shops allow you to return any purchased within a month. If once again, it has to be in good condition. Plus, a few stores have extended the return policy because of COVID. So now we have more time to decide if we really want it. So next time, keep your receipts. It's better to be smart than sorry. Hey guys, so I just wanted to talk about more in depth what I meant about the reusable bags and the ones and clothes. So starting off with the reusable bags, I actually have two, which I'll show you. So this is the first one that I was talking about. So there are many reasons why I really like the bag. First, it has my initials, you know, E, Ella, and it really helps with the environment. And even if it gets dirty, you can easily clean it off and it's very good quality it's very less likely that there's gonna be a hole in it you know so I really like it so I have another bag here which I really like the design of it's pretty similar but the material is a bit different but either way it's very less likely that the bag is going to get a hole so now with loyalty cards I have a lot of loyalty cards it's kind of unbelievable I have this much so I have one for Tesco, I have one for Fraser Court, one for Nando's, one for Costco, one for even Singapore. I don't know why my mom still has this, but that's okay. And even for Mark and Spencer. So I really recommend getting loyalty cards. This is probably my billionth time saying this, but there was even this time in Tesco where they were giving out there are some items that if you had a club card then you could get some of the items for half price which is one of the perks I was talking about earlier so yeah I definitely recommend you getting any loyalty card it can be any brand and the best part is that I got all of these ones for free from my mom did so those are my smart ways of shopping that I wanted to share with all of you so how about you? Do you have any tips on shopping smartly? If so, please feel free to comment below by writing on the comment section. And did you enjoy today's episode? If so, let's all connect by clicking the subscribe button and please hit the bell so every time I upload you'll get notified. Thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you next video. Goodbye!